I've served in the Oregon legislature for a long time. And when I was in the House, I started experiencing uncomfortable interactions with a colleague in the Senate. I remember a very specific time in um, 2013. I was working on a bill related to domestic worker uh, rights, and I was invited to the office of this person that I eventually made the complaint about. And I talked to my chief of staff and said, gosh, I, I don't know if I should go. I'm gonna come back feeling icky. Uh, and the conversation we had was how much did I want that bill and how much did the domestic workers need that bill? When I filed the complaint and I needed to go back, to look for video clips to demonstrate this behavior. I was really surprised to go back and see it. The video was of, a, of an unusual day um, in which this individual came and sat at my desk, uh, was sitting very close, and another member actually came up behind him and said very loudly, get your hands off Senator Gelser. And as this process moved forward and we learned that there were people with so much less power that were experiencing these behaviors from this person, I wished that I had earlier kind of bucked the silent rule and really asked for change. This individual negotiated his exit from the Senate. He submitted a letter of resignation to take effect at a later date. I'm concerned as a legislator about how this plays out in workplaces for women that face termination for speaking up. There are some things that we can do as policymakers to address workplace harassment in all workplaces. One of those is the issue of non-disclosure agreements. A worker will come forward who has uh, experienced um, something negative and something inappropriate at work. They will receive uh, a severance package and in exchange for that severance package, they have to sign a non-disclosure agreement or a, a statement that says, I'll never tell anyone that this thing happened to me. And then they have to leave their job, which means another person is going to come along and experience this, and the offender is going to continue with impunity. That is a significant problem in every single sector that we have to stop. I really got to learn firsthand about how silence is a big part of what uh, maintains cultures of sexual harassment. And that sexual harassment isn't just about the behaviors, it really is a way that women are diminished in the workplace. It is not about sex, it's about power.